Blessing, blessing, man. Shout out to everybody tuning in. Grateful. Hope y'all having a blessed morning. <clears throat> Yo. What's good, man? Jada Dime, my boy Dada die, die in the building. Yo, Brody said he been rocking with us for six years. Almost seven years. That's crazy. Wow. Almost seven years. How old was I? I said, 32. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25. 25 years old. That's crazy, dog. Hmm. Buddy. Yo, Jay, you, that, that's amazing, man. I definitely appreciate the support, dog. That's beautiful, man. Seven years. Well, almost seven years. Six years, 248 days. So we're going to say seven years. That's amazing, man. I definitely appreciate this support, man. Long time support. Really appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> so I was taking a shower this morning. And y'all know what that water do. You know, for some reason, it's like a lot of us. I know I have heard this before, so that's why I say a lot of us. You know, when we take those showers, man, seem like we, our brain get to turning and twisting and coming up with new ideas. There are so many times where I came up with amazing, amazing life ideas just simply taking a shower, you know, taking a bath and ideas just start rolling through my head my brain just be going and i'd be you know so this morning i had another um idea that came to me and i was like okay i'm constantly trying to figure out new ways to implement this stuff so and i know i still have to you know entertain the audience so instead of doing all three or like i have multiple videos in the morning that i'll be want to get to but instead of doing all three of them, I'm just going to do one at a time every morning before we start live streaming, before we start with the other stuff. I'm going to do one of these videos every morning. Then we'll go into playing 2K in the morning. And um, I'm going to do it like that. And I'm still going to be putting the, the information inside of my 2K content that I, that I upload daily. So every day I upload a YouTube, uh, um, I upload 2K videos. So I have a, because I have so much content that I never got to upload, I'm uploading like three videos a day. Yeah, I'm uploading my 2K videos in the morning at 7 a.m. And I'm still trying to play, I'm still playing around with the times. From what I'm noticing, 7 a.m. doesn't work for me. The audience that I have, of the way that I have structured my channel, my channel doesn't have a niche, a niche, because I create so many different type of uh, avenues for myself that YouTube can't pinpoint me in the direction that they think is best for me. So my channel is just like you might hear politics, you might hear spiritual talk, then you might hear, you know, some celebrity talk you know you might hear some worldly news then you're gonna hear some 2k then you're gonna hear see me playing spider-man then you see me playing robocop so my channel is all over the place so therefore i realized like i try to go and create create other channels but it don't work because i have already built myself inside of the 2k community you know what i'm saying i was saying let him borrow the ferrari on sleep so, um, my new idea that I came up with is if I'm still going to play 2K in the morning, but I'm going to do the knowledge that I think we all should be aware of first before we do the content. And I'm still going to put the content inside of my 2K videos. And I'm just going to write like, so I think this is the last day that I'm going to upload a video at 7 a.m. 7 a.m. not working for me. So, I think I'm going to start switching my time up to 12 noon. But see, the thing about that is I'm usually live streaming. I may not be able to go live on YouTube because I think that's going to 
live streaming takes away because if I'm live streaming and I just dropped a YouTube video, and how can uh, people that support me go support the YouTube video? They ain't gonna go support the YouTube video because they watching me live. So it's like I have to figure out how to because we're trying to get YouTube to be an income. YouTube used to be an income, but because I stopped uploading, they took their monetization away. So that left me with only about four incomes. And I'm trying to have as many incomes as possible. And YouTube can be one of those. Because I've already been there, so I know I can get back to it. Uh, we're trying to make TikTok an income. You know, when it comes to this digital stuff, so it's, why not take advantage of all this digital income if I have the resources to, to, to obtain it? I have the content. Um, so I'm still trying to figure out the best way to structure all this stuff together when it comes to this digital side, when it comes to my personal life, as I still have income in my personal life that I have to obtain so that it can flourish my digital income because that's what we we have to do we have to go get this money so that we can start our own business and brands you know so we can market ourselves that's why that's why i realized you know over the past years i used to always say you know we entrepreneurs we don't do jobs but as i've been learning recently and hanging around the right people and reading the right books and and listening to the right audio books and listening to the right friends there's nothing wrong with having a job the job can supply your your side hustles this job can supply your your goal of creating your business so i'm i'm seeing a lot of successful people have jobs i'm seeing a lot of you know i do security for a very um well established people man and a lot of them people have jobs whether it's their own business they don't just sit back and say, okay, yeah, I created this business. Now I'm going to go lay on the couch for the next 10 years. These people are still getting up early in the morning, clocking in on their business. So having a job is important when you're trying to create a business because, like I said, you need to generate some type of money while you're trying to set up a play for your own self to get out of the rat race. You know, so... I have a, a job and then I have other things going on in my personal life that I'm trying to figure out how to put all these different avenues together so that I don't overwork myself. I don't over stimulate, stress myself, and I don't outsource myself to so many things that I can't function in life and keep up and still be a healthy um, citizen, a healthy father, a healthy uh, um boyfriend you know so i'm trying to you know play with i'm playing with my time not playing with it but i'm trying to figure out the correct time management for everything that i got going on in my life so with that being said you know i said in the morning time we were just gonna do all these type of videos but see i have to realize that that's not where are my audience at? So I have to some way cater to my audience. And see, I, I, I understand that I am still in control, but I somewhere have to cater to the audience to grow up to the point where I can just give you these type of videos. But I understand that my audience is not going to sit down for three hours and just listen to these type of videos when I have built myself in the 2K community, I am a household name in the 2K community. Whether I'm still popular or not, I'm still somebody that is known in the 2K community, and that's where 99% of my audience come from. So me trying to completely take that away from them would never work. And I'd be trying so many times, but it just won't work. I've been trying for years to take my audience away from 2K and put it into real life knowledge. But I have to come, I have come to realize that no matter how hard I try, I cannot steal y'all from what I have created with you for so many years. Like my G been rocking with me for seven years. I'm sure he done, in seven years, 
He started with me through 2K. And 90% of what he know me for is 2K. But being that he been here for seven years, he also know me for this type of talk too. I'm pretty sure. But like I said, 90% of why he would know me is because of 2K. If he's been here for seven years, I'm here to watch you play teamwork and defense. That's my slogan. That's what I'm stepped in the game for. So be not here to hear me talk about other things because I didn't start like that. Because I grew to this level of consciousness. You knew me for being a reckless kid, raging, playing 2K for so many years. And then as I grew up, I started to be have a level of conscious to where I wanted to share with the people that were supporting me, not just the people in my real life. You know, well, not my real life, because this is my real life, too. That's one thing I can be say. I have been authentic on this Internet. I have came here and shared my truth. Um, a lot of it, too. I have shared a lot of information with y'all. But so. I figured out. Like I said, I'm, 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 I'm still trying to figure out how to get my 2K community to be invested into spiritual talk, to be invested into um, finance, real estate, business. Like, I don't want to just be the friend that's growing. I want to help my brothers and sisters that say they support me. I don't want you to just support my business. I want to support your business. And I know people that have been rocking with me, you can't say I just started this. I have always said this. I have always stated that we all can grow together in this business. I have always been a team player. I have never wanted to be the only one that was doing well when it comes to this live stream and stuff. I've always supported other content creators. You know what I'm saying? So, um, this is not something new. You know, it just, I'm pushing it harder now because I'm getting older. Some of y'all have grown with me. You feel me? Like, for real, though. Some of y'all don't watch me be the little guy. Now I'm the big guy, you know, when it comes to mentally when it comes to having a family now you see me with no kids you see me with one daughter then you see me have another child now bro i got five kids i'm the family guy now i'm the guy that you know have to you know i'm the diaper changer now you know but there was a time when you heard me going out every night that was a time when y'all seen me talking about multiple girls and multiple rotations Traveling over here. I got girls over here. Now you don't get that type of talk from me. So a lot of y'all done watch me grow up into being a man of trying to be the best that I can be. You heard me talk about my past when I used to sell drugs. And then you heard me and seen me cry live on stream by knowing that I was a detriment to my community and I am part of the reason that people look at the black man and say he just a drug dealer he just a game banker he just a this and that so you have seen me celebrate those things and then you have seen me shed tears about the fact that damn i really was a part of that that system so you see me be broke with no money you see me have my lights cut off you see me have abundance so you see me travel you know what I'm saying? So some of y'all have been with me so long, you have seen me at my lowest. And you're seeing me as I'm growing to my highest. You know, and that's simply from going within. I'm learning how to go within. I'm learning how to accept that we all have to put in work and put in work on ourselves. You know, I'm learning that you see me play 2K 24-7. You see me play 2K, no, no 7, no 20, nothing 4. You see me play 2K once a week. You see me step away for months. So you look got to see every aspect of a young boy going into a man. You look got to see every aspect for the ones that have been following my life and been rocking with me for years. And you always see me stick with the same concept. 
I want to see us all win. I want to see us all do better. Even when I was back there, my younger self, I still was promoting us. We're going to win. We're going to get this money from Twitch. You know? So, as I'm coming to realize, you know, to conclude what I'm saying, these videos that I'm about to play today, you know, I had said, that, okay, I'm going to play in the morning. We're just going to do these type of videos. But no, I have to. I have to understand, understand that I have built a 2K community. And, and this is why I failed with my logo. Because my goal was to have my, I did what, exactly what I set out to do, but I failed because I didn't properly plan or have a proper blueprint of what I actually was trying to do. But the people that know me, what I tell, I'm going to get inside of the 2K community. And then I'm going to spit that real shit. The only thing about it, I did exactly what I said I was going to do. I said I was going to get inside of the system of 2K. I made it all the way inside. I was the inside guy. I was the guy that was going to be in the video game. I was the guy that's going to be at the headquarters. But I got in and my ego took over. I did exactly what I said I was going to do. But the ones that been rocking with me, I said, I'm going to get in there. I'm going to be an inside man, and I'm going to help millions of kids now because I'm inside of a major corporation. And now I can get out here and spit this real stuff to many more people. I did exactly what I said I was going to do. But I got in there. And my ego took over before I can do my mission. People got to see me work hard for a business and then got recognized, got my 2K logo, got a major shout out for all the years. You got to see me having my sponsorships as I was getting my logo. There was so much happening for me. But just like many times in my life, there are so many good things that happened for me, and I failed to realize what was happening. I've been rich before. I had hundreds of thousand dollars as a kid, but guess do I have those hundred thousand that I had then? No, I don't have them. I had to create new money because when I was a young boy and I got all that money, I bought a car. I put twenty-four wheels on it. I put two fifteens in the trunk. I put a horn in the front. I put my tenant winner windows. I had my, my TVs in there. So I was having jewelry. I was buying all my homeboy stuff. I was buying shopping every week. I was buying new cars. So what I'm saying is a lot of us that had what we exactly wanted, what we exact we done obtained it, we done went to the level of exactly where we wanted to be in life but sometimes we don't realize what we have because we can't believe that we actually accomplished what we set out to accomplish and when we lose sight of the mission and we haven't we haven't fully controlled ourselves we haven't fully grasped the aspect of how hard it was to get there. Now you got there and you, you take your foot off the gas and you start popping bottles and you start celebrating. And I think this is what happened to a lot of us when we get to where we want to be, when we get that, that major finance upgrade, when we get that girlfriend upgrade, when we get that job upgrade, when we get that car upgrade. Sometimes we forget how hard we had to suffer how hard we had to work. And then we get in there and we just let the ego take over. And overnight you lose everything that you work for. You've been working for this for 30 years, 20 years, 15 years, 10 years. You done put in this work. You done put in this grind. And you get to where you want to be. And the ego snatches it away from you. You forget the sight of, man, I worked my butt off. I worked my butt off to get inside of 2K. I live screen sun up to sun down. Unhealthy, as y'all would say. 
But it always gonna be unhealthy when you chasing something. Where it's, where it look like for a healthy person to be chasing the dream, to be chasing goals. Show me a healthy motherfucker that chasing dreams and goals. It's always see. I was, I was healthy, but it looked unhealthy. So I'm saying, like I'm saying, you. Yeah, you can be healthy chasing dreams and goals, but to everybody else, they're gonna be like, well, you need a little more sleep. You know, like we said yesterday, Brody played 12,000 games on 2K25. Yes, they look unhealthy. And I'm pretty sure it is unhealthy. But guess what, though? At the same time, that's what it looked like to chase dreams and goals, to create your business from the ground up. What's good, gang? So there's nobody that I know that ain't created their business from ground up. They didn't have to put in more time than they would like to. They had to do way more. They had to output way more to, to start a business. We all know in the first five years, the business can fail. The first five years is the most dangerous for a business because that's when it's your hardest. Then they say the, the next five is, is damn near a cakewalk. But that first five, that first year, you ready to quit. Who want to continue a business after they ain't getting no success? How about you go create a YouTube channel, a Twitch channel, and for that first year, you tell me, do you want to keep going? When you don't got nobody watching you, you don't got nobody checking for you, you don't got nobody supporting you. Only way you get another view if you have two cell phones or you got a laptop and you got to create a fake account to watch yourself. To put yourself in the algorithm. But some people ain't even smart enough to do that. Some people ain't even created them a fake account to watch themselves, to put themselves in the one view category. See, I did that. I had my girlfriend watching me, and I had a phone and a laptop. I had three views. Because I started to think. I started to think, how can I get my numbers up? Well, the numbers got to start with you. You got to be creative. So, a lot of times we go through all that. We go through all that to get somewhere and then we get there and we forget about the struggle. And now all of a sudden, boom, the ego snatching everything from you <clears throat> because you're not used to having nothing or you're used to having something, but you've never been comfortable with having it. You never actually sat in and enjoyed your, 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 your fruits or your labor. You enjoyed the, 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 the glory of your, of your process, the, the, the work that you have put in. So this is where I have come to realize. And, you know, we take things for granted. Anonymous put in so much work to get 2K recognition so I can use that recognition to do the things that I'm doing today. But because I did not appreciate and, and, and was not grateful, and I didn't fully own what I had accomplished and what I had went through to receive that. It was easy to lose it. It was easy to lose my, my vision. It was easy to be unappreciative of a company that so many tried to get in. So many people try to get into 2K circle. Anonymous 2K TV made it in that circle and threw it away in less than a month. The day I got recognized by 2K, the day I got my logo, the day I got in the fan club, before the month was out, I had already gave it up. You know how crazy that is? But see, I had lost sight of my true goal. My true goal was to get in the circle. If I'm in the circle, that means I have a label behind me. The label would be NBA 2K. With this label behind me, I can talk to kids all over the world. But I had lost sight of my true vision. 
I started seeing the money from the sponsors. I started seeing the fame. And I started seeing wearing the label like, yeah, nigga, you see I got on that 2K label, nigga. Yeah, I'm stamped. I'm doing all that. That's the ego. See, I hadn't, I hadn't controlled my ego, so I couldn't even do my purpose because the ego was dripping in gold. The ego had got everything. See, not only did my spirit want to be connected with 2K because I thought that would be my route to talk to kids around the world, but my ego was saying the same thing. See, you know we like the light now. You know we'll look cocky. You know we'll look flashy, nigga. We finna have that 2K logo. We finna go down there and show them how them niggas, you know, we finna go out there and pull up at the events. My ego was like, yeah, get this shit. We finna get this 2K logo. But my spirit was saying, we accomplished one step. We in here. Now let's spread the message. But my ego was taking over what my true self wanted to do. So, this is the same thing I mean by when we come to this game and we are not focused and we are not centered. We come over here and we let our ego have us to rage. We let our ego tell us this is a competitive game. I have to win. My kids got to wait. My lady got to wait. My boyfriend got to wait. My parents got to wait. We let the ego put us in a, in a dog fight when we really just coming over here to have a peace of mind and a break from reality. But that break from reality turned into a whole nother reality of anger, hatred for people that you don't even know. Also for your family when they're trying to take you away from the game. So, back to what I was saying. You know, I just threw a whole lot of stuff in there. That's real. But the overall thing of what I'm saying is, the ego is not your enemy, and the ego is not your friend. The ego is a tool to be used. Because, see, the only reason that I was able to obtain that success is was because of my ego. My ego drives me to be a hardworking man. My ego drives me to be a great father. My ego drives me to have alarm set and to get up at 4 a.m. to work out. My ego drives me. Today, I have a workout session at 12 noon. I'm going to make sure I be there. My ego drives. See, we don't understand how to use the ego properly. So, therefore, when we don't know how to use the ego properly, we misuse the ego or the ego misuses us. But if we knew how to use this superpower that we have called the ego, oh, it ain't nothing that we can't accomplish. This ego is a superpower, but we have to be in control of it or it will control us. Because a lot of the things that we want, the ego is saying, I can help you get there. You want to be the best 2K player? I can get you there. The ego going to drive you to watch film. See, when I play basketball, I watch film. I study the greats. Because the ego was driving me to be one of the best that I can be. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not, the ego, don't make the ego your enemy. Because if you make the, in, the ego your enemy, then what pushes you going to have? The ego has that motherfucking dog in him. That, see, you know that dog in you? That's that ego. When you turn that dog into the right race and you turn that dog towards the right track, that dog will go so hard for you. That dog will come out of there and he'll be whatever you choose to be. But if we don't control that dog, if we don't train that dog, if we don't put some, some, some restraints on that dog, that dog will get out of control and you know what he'll do. You know what he'll do. You done been there before. And see, I know what my ego will do. My ego will pop bottles knowing that I ain't got enough money. My ego will spend his last on 2K because I want to win and I want to be the best. My ego will spend the light bill money on VC. You know what I'm saying? So, the ego is a powerful tool. 
and I am now revamping myself to learn about the ego because I never understood what the you know we hear people say ego. I never understood the ego, and I still don't fully understand it, but I know how to use it now. I'm working with it. I know that I cannot fight myself because the ego is me. Are y'all understand what I'm saying? I cannot. If I fight the ego, I fight me, which will destroy me. So I cannot kill my ego. If I kill my ego, I kill my dog. Why would I want to kill this dog in me? Why would I want to kill this thing in me that can go and take on the biggest lion in the world? See, if something come out and try to hold my kids, you know who going to jump out there? That ego. Ooh, 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 I hit the nail on the head with that one. I know you caught it in. If somebody come to try to harm my family, who's going to jump up to defend us? That ego that said, no, not my family. No, sir, Mr. Man, you got the wrong house. Then you're going to tell me, get out of bed. Don't let that right there go down. Don't let that go down. But if you don't have that ego, if you don't have that dog, ain't no telling what you allow. You allow a motherfucker to spit in your face. You allow a motherfucker to talk to you crazy because you need that job. But see, the ego going to tell you, no, nah, nigga. But see, we have to be smart because the ego can get out of control now. Nigga, you ain't going to talk to me like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to pull you to the side because the ego needs some act right. The ego needs to check a nigga. That's the, oh, man, we can't let him do us like that. The ego is saying to you, you going to let that ride? See, that could be me. And you're like, nigga, we, that is you. No, that's not, nigga. That's you, bitch-ass nigga over there. You in there folding up, and this nigga did some spit in your face that told you, whoa, whoa, whoa. well, what we going to do? We going to do something. But you, listen, the ego is giving you an opportunity to lead him or her in the right direction, whatever that spirit is in you. But if you don't do what you're supposed to do, you're going to lose that power that you have. You're going to lose that dog that you have. You're going to weaken him. You're going to weaken her. Whatever, you know, I, I'm aiming to hear her, you know, you understand, to make it simple, simpletic. But long story short, long story short, Anonymous 2K TV let his ego cause him a temporary situation because at the end of the day I realized that let me explain something to also anonymous still get to do what he wanted to do he just don't have the 2k brand behind him anymore he don't have the corporation brand behind him like I still get to talk to kids around the world I'm still talking to men and women right now I'm still doing it, but my ego wanted it to be bigger. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So the ego going to get you exactly where you want to go, but you have to be comfortable and say, as long as one person see me saying what I'm saying, and I did my job and my cup is filled, the ego is saying, see, we can get by 12 more if you do this. Yeah, go on do by go on do some wild shit. That's what a lot of brothers and sisters doing that become entertainers, content creators. Their ego is taking them over the top and over the top and over the top. So one minute you see them normal, the next minute you see them flashing out, the next minute you see them doing some wild shit, and they keep getting wilder and wilder. The ego, they that motherfucker, he's it's a tough energy. But if you feed the ego the wrong way, it'll destroy you. So I was feeding my ego incorrectly because the ego is aligned with what you want. But you got to notice when the ego is tapping in and making you feel unsatisfied with the mission you're doing. I was doing what I was supposed to do. But my ego was trying to tell me, 
Let's get this 2K logo, and then we can really do what we're doing. But we are already doing what we're doing. We helping. We getting information. We learning. We playing 2K and talking that real stuff. So this is why we're coming to what we're coming to. For the people that just tuning in, the moral of what I'm saying is, I was gonna just give y'all this type of information daily, but I have to understand that I am a 2K content creator, and y'all know me for 2K, and I cannot take that away from y'all because it won't work with what I'm trying to do. So, moving forward, before we start our 2K content, we're gonna play one of these videos, the video that I choose, whether it's talking about spiritual, whether it's talking about real estate, whether they're talking about business, whether they're talking about um, stocks, uh, whether they're just talking about um, knowledge of a man. You know, um, shout out to my ladies in here. I'm going to be honest. Most of the stuff I intake, you can, you can learn from it too. You know, a lot of this stuff is coming from, a lot of this stuff I intake coming from men's points of view. But ladies, you definitely can take some of this advice too. Because you know what, I not only do I take this information, but I send it to females and I send it to my daughter. So I don't just, you know, give it to my guy friends. I give it to anybody that I think it can benefit. So um, we finna get started with this and then we're gonna play 2K. But I do have to leave at 11.30. I got a, a gym session. I uh, meet my trainer today at 12 noon so we're gonna be working on them legs today i know people say why do i need a trainer i've been a lot of people been asking me lately why do i have a trainer i have a trainer because i want to do things properly i can work myself out but i know when it comes to pain a lot of time we have a cap See, the person that's not in the pain don't have the cap. But the person that's in the pain said, this is enough. So how do I defeat that from my mental is I have somebody that don't have a cap because he's not doing it right now. I'm doing it. So when he say, give me three more, I want to give him three more, no matter the cap that I feel that I have. If it was me, I would stop that one. I'm going to go as hard as I can, though, by myself, but I'm going to stop when they say stop. You know, for you, for any of y'all that ever been in some pain, you know when you want the pain to stop. You know when that toothache comes and you want that toothache to stop. But if the doctor said, I can't pull it out today, you went expecting it to be gone today, but the doctor said, we can't do it until tomorrow. Guess what you got to do? You got to withstand that pain some more. So it's just like when it comes for working out for me. I can work out by myself all day. Now I look good. But I'm not, I don't want to look good. I want to do things properly. And I want somebody that's going to say, give me, give me three more. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Give me three more. All right. Um, you might have to refresh. Yo, is the audio going in and out, chat? My boy said on YouTube, the audio going in and out. 